nails. Hey guys, it's day three. I have hot hair. I don't know how to put that. And then a hot mess because I'm in this Regency petticoat so I can make a sensor today. I barely brush my teeth, so it's gonna be a good day. I can tell already. <laughs> See you guys in class. I still want you to pull the neckline, but don't force it. So one in. Quickly pin it all the way around the neckline between the knots. See how it fits. Um, don't check with me before you cut off more than half an inch. But you have my blessing to shorten the collar, whatever size. Um, all right. We have all these Regency ladies who are getting fitted by J.P. Ryan for their new Regency jacket, which we are making in class today. I have my pattern cut out. This is my new friend. She is cutting her pattern out. We're waiting for a fabric lottery to start after Judy gets fit over there. Um, Please pay here before returning to your vehicle. Please I hate that thing. I hate it so hard. It's really annoying. It happens automatically every time you walk past it. Anyway, my class is over. I did not finish my... I didn't even sew. I didn't even sew a stitch. Like, by the time we all got, like, fitted and got our fabric and we laid the fabric out and then there wasn't enough room in that class because, oh, that's another thing. If you could have sew at costume college, you're not gonna do well. Like, it is crazy hard to sew at Costume College because um, the tables are super narrow, so you can't cut anything. So we went in the hallway, and we were trying to cut fabric, and then people kept trying to like wheel service carts through, like where we were cutting our fabric on the ground. Nightmare. Oh, here's another class going on. I wonder what's happening. Um, anyway, I'm not done. I didn't even start. I mean, I cut all the fabric out, but that's it. And I got all the instructions, and that's all I needed to do. Looks like they are making. What are you guys making? Pauldrons? Pauldrons? They're making pauldrons. Um, but it is warm out here, just so you know. These people have to do their work outside, and it's quite warm. So, can I zoom in on that? Oh, wow. That's awesome. I think that's really cool. Okay, anyway, so I need to go put, I put my sewing machine in the car, that's why I was outside. Um, and now I am going to go to my room and put normal clothes on. So I'm not walking, that was Judy. So I'm not gonna walk around in my underwear all day. Cause it's rather embarrassing, I'm, I'm like not, yeah. No. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get changed and then I might go to, I'm not gonna put curlers in my hair, that's what we decided. I'm just gonna like wing it tonight with whatever sexy hair I have going on right now. Um, here's AJ. Hi. How are you? Um, how are you doing? I'm so tired. I'm in my room where it's much easier to talk to you. Um, <coughs> I don't know how much of that I finished because I kept getting interrupted by people I saw, which is the best part of costume college. Um, yeah, so if you want to sew here, it's really rough because the um, tables are really narrow and like your stuff falls down all the time and like whatever. So we were cutting like on our hands and knees. I had to take my stays off so that I could get on the ground because it was like gouging out my stomach. Um, there's a busk in the front of that, like a wooden busk up in front of your, in your, wooden, your Regency stays. Oh, um, so by the time I laid all the fabric out and like I pinned it and then I cut it and I even had help and I was still like... I had like, I could have sewn for like 15 minutes and I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. So if you come to costume college and you're gonna make something in your class, don't expect to finish it. They will get you through all the parts that you need their special tools for so that you can take it home and finish it, but just expect some unfinished objects that you may never finish. I have so many that I actually just got rid of them all. Um, but the experience is really good and you can totally go home and finish stuff. Like this, this month's where I will go home like next week I will go finish this thing because I need it. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna go to the marketplace, so I'm gonna switch my clothes and then go down there and I'll show you the marketplace, it's pretty awesome. In college mood, chill. <laughs>
Okay, I'm gonna go to an intro to fly fringe class. That's just like long enough for me to squidge in there. Um, between now and my next class, which is at three. This is basically the, the story of how to be trimmed. I had. I made about 37 meters of this trim, which I now know there are some things I could have done better, like I could have made these fluffier if I wanted it. And the one I looked at wasn't that fluffy, but I like the coffee ones better. Um, and I know that instead of using just regular silk thread, they actually would use gift for it. We'll discuss gift later. But I was all the while, I did make 36 meters of it, so I got really good at it at the end. So let me. <laughs> First, <laughs> pass this around. I have to. Oh, 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 what you would do with the gimp is whenever you feel ready, you would add your gimp to the loop. And you pick the direction that you want to go. Um, I just cut mine short, like. <laughs> I don't think it's a peloton, actually. Okay, <laughs> so that's 10 right there. And then I get my embroidery scissors. And I hold on real tight to one end. Hold on real, real tight. There's a lot of tension here. And you just cut it. Do not let go. Just kind of pet it a little bit. And then tie a knot right here at the end. set all this stuff on fire. I uh, promptly burnt my hand on some spandex. That was awful. She burnt her hand on some spandex also. It, it like spews finger. out a little lava ball. And <laughs> yeah, I'm going in water. Anyway, um, this class was, uh, let's just say dangerous. Iron Man is happening. Claudine is doing ironing for me. Yay. Iron Man in the house. So I spent the last couple hours like putting this on <laughs> and getting ready and stuff. We're gonna go find the rest of our Avengers. We have a Scarlet Witch here. Woo woo, Scarlet Witch. <laughs>